What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Down to Earth with me, Christian Harloff. Well, as you saw with the thumbnail, finally, it looks like more and more people are finally in the mainstream media starting to cover this topic. And as I said over the last week, the fact that Lou Elizondo is out there, he had a position with the government and he's making these claims, it's irresponsible for the mainstream media not to interview this person. I'm not telling you that it's irresponsible if you don't believe him, but to not have this person on to discuss it and ask the questions is irresponsible. And so it looks like more and more people have indeed been interviewing him. And so he did another one, mainstream interview. Here's part of it. Nope, there, there's no such thing as UFOs. It's, it's not existent. You're here to tell us that there is fact and research that there that they do exist. Let's not forget, Stephanie, that we've had already a former director of national intelligence, a former director of the CIA, and even a former president of the United States all come out on the record and say, yeah, it looks like they, these things are real. Our, our very best, most sophisticated technology is, is picking these things up. We also have eyewitness testimony from our, our trained observers, our combat pilots. And then you've also got the radar data, all basically substantiating the same event at the same time, at the same place, under the same circumstances. And so much technology that's been analyzed and researched. Now, let's let's talk about your own personal experience. You mentioned in this book that UAPs have appeared both in and around your home. How did these personal experiences influence your views on UAP? And what exactly did you see? Yeah, sure. So uh, first of all, let me preface, we're not sure if they are actually UAP related. What we do know is that a lot of people that were in the program that I was in also had very similar encounters while they were in the program. So not before and not after, but, but during the time that we were researching these, these UAP. And from, from our experience, when I say ours, I mean my families and even our neighbors witnessed some of these, are these luminous green balls of light, very diffuse in nature, uh, no hard edges, that would just seem to kind of peruse the house and uh, go down the hall and, and, and go through a wall. I know it sounds rather bizarre. And look, there are absolutely possible natural explanations, right? You could say ball lightning or St. Elmo's fire or some sort of plasma static charge in the air. But the bottom line is it was very bizarre. It was witnessed by not only my family, but again, neighbors and other individuals who are part of our effort in the government also experienced uh, very, very similar encounters at, at their residences. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much, Lou, for sharing your experience and for documenting what you know and what you think we should all know in your book, Imminent Inside the Pentagon's Hunt for UFOs, which is available now to purchase. Thanks, Lou. So as you see inside of that uh, report there, yes, the stuff that he's saying is stuff that he has talked about in his book. He talked about it on Rogan. He talked about it with Ross Coldhart. He's talked about these things. This piece that I'm doing right here is less about really what he's saying and more about the attention that it brings when more people are seeing this stuff from their mainstream media. And it's the point that I make on this show and that I have been making on this show for a very long time. Um, it is one of those things that whether... Look, the, the world is changing. We have changed. The way that you get your news, whether it's someone like me, whether it is on X going through it, finding articles or whatever it might be, but there's traditional media and people sit down in front of their, you know, their TVs, they watch their reporters that they watch or they follow their websites from their ABC News, their CBS News, their NBC, their Fox. Their, and when this clip pops up, they go, wait a minute, what's this? This is real? Because she even started out going, no, for people who think that UFOs aren't real, you're saying that they are. And yes, if it's someone who's watching this channel right now, you watch that clip that I just played, you're like, there's nothing new. I've heard all this. Yes, you've heard all this. I've heard all this. Other people have heard all this who follow this topic. But I don't know when you, the person who's watching this right now, started to go into this topic. But at some point, there was something, whether it was... Five days ago, five years ago, 30 years ago, there was something that happened that made you interested in this topic and continue to follow it. Well, this interview with Lou Elizondo could be that for somebody who says, what is this? Wait, this stuff is, wait, I saw that guy that used to do 
movie stuff talking about UFO stuff. He's there's actually UFOs. What? What? Wait a minute, huh? And that is what happens. It it's it's gradual, and they've talked about this that the disclosure movement in general is gradual, and you've got to take it with baby steps. So things like this and getting in front of people like this, this is how you do it, and it is the thing that I have been very vocal about. I don't think I think this is a small step. It's still a step, but it's a small step. I do think there should be bigger reports, and it shouldn't be like a big, you know, um, hooray! Look at this. ABC News did one thing. It should be like ABC News, CBS, Fox. They all covered it. It is a big thing. This huge. It was the number one story that they covered. That's the type of stuff that should be happening. I'll take what we got right now. I'll take it. And as we start to get more information, and when there's something along the lines of like a hearing. You know, when a hearing comes out. But let, let me rewind. Because even that, which she asked him about, well, you, you said you actually had things that were f- flying around near you. That's a good question to ask. I'm asking my producers for another five or ten minutes with the guy, and then I'm going, hey, I noticed in another thing, or even in your book, you were talking about implants. And you're talking about the fact that these things are actually here, and they are non-human. That's the report. This is this is like, I said this the other day. This is the next step. The first one is what she started with, which is these things are real. We we've been talking about that. The the, the hearings were, were the whole point of that. The the New York Times article was the whole point of that. This is that next step of oh, they because my question was well what is it? This guy and other people are telling you well this is what it is. It's non-human. They're matter of fact. It's non-human. I was always like, well, what if what, what if it's foreign governments? They, he's saying, no, it's not foreign governments. Is what he's saying. It's not foreign governments. This is what it is. That story needs to be told more. But it looks like more of this stuff is getting out there. So I ask you guys, what do you think? Put your comments in there. Tell me, do you think that this is something that is uh, going to move the needle? Is this the first step in the disclosure movement? What do you say? Put your comments in there. Thank you. I'll be back here tomorrow for another news piece, but I appreciate you. And, yeah, we have members now, so if you want to join, you want to be a member. But if not, you want to help out the show, I'll tell you about two of our sponsors right now, and then I'll see you tomorrow. This episode of Down to Earth with Christian Harloff is sponsored by BetterHelp. Let me ask you, what are your self-care non-negotiables? What is it, that you never skip a leg day or therapy day? Because when your schedule is packed with kids' activities, big work projects, and more, it's easy to let your priorities slip. Because even when we know what makes us happy, it is hard to make time for it. But when you feel like you have no time for yourself, non-negotiables like therapy are more important than ever. Therapy is very important. I've been in that position, man, when I haven't talked and I've let things bottled up, and it is not a good thing. you got to talk to people. And we've had people on our show that have said, listen, We've needed to speak to people. We had an opportunity to, and BetterHelp has been there for a lot of people very close in my life. Because if you don't know, it's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient. It is flexible, and it is suited to your schedule. All you have to do is you fill out a brief questionnaire, you get matched with a licensed therapist, and you switch therapists anytime, no additional charge. Never skip therapy day with BetterHelp. you got to visit betterhelp.com slash DTE today. You get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash DTE. Guys, thanks for watching the show. Really appreciate you being here. And I wanted to give you an opportunity to hear about somebody I love, and that's Factor. Factor, to me, the meals are just delicious. And with sunny days here, fueling up with Factor is there's no prep. There's no mess meals. Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus. Factory's fresh, never-frozen meals are dietitian approved and they're ready to eat in just two minutes. So no matter how busy you are, you'll always find time to enjoy nutritious, great-tasting meals. I cannot tell you guys. We have been working on this studio. We have been doing stuff. And Brett, who is here, if you don't know Brett, Brett is one of the best. He's a producer. And he works on this studio, and he's gotten it looking really, really good. Well, Brett gets hungry. I said, Brett, guess what? I got some good meals for you, and we got Factor. And Brett's been the most energy I've seen him running around because he's been eating well with Factor. 
have 35 meals and more than 60 add-ons to choose from every week, and you'll always have new flavors to explore. you got to treat yourself to restaurant-quality meals that feature premium ingredients like filet mignon, shrimp, and blackened salmon. So if you head to factormeals.com slash DTE50, you use that code DTE50, you'll get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month. That's code DTE50 at factormeals.com slash DTE50 to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month while subscription is active. Get it. You'll thank me for it. I appreciate it.